Well, hi, everybody. You know what? I am one of the luckiest guys in the shaving world community on YouTube because I get sent beautiful products, uh, wonderful soaps, razors, blades, everything. I'm, I'm very, very fortunate. And today I'm extremely fortunate because I got, uh, when I got home from work today, there was a little package on my front, uh, front porch, and it was from Captain's Choice. Scott over at Captain's Choice sent me a lovely note and he sent me some products. Now, first of all, they're coming out with this eucalyptus shaving soap. This is Captain's Choice. It smells of, uh, as they describe it on their website, camphor, lemon, and there's a hint of spearmint in it, which I love anything peppermint, spearmint. I prefer peppermint, but the spearmint in this, oh, it smells good. It smells good. So we're going to lather up with this, but, and you know me, right? You know me? Do you know me? Do you know me? Um, get to know me. God, forget it. That was a reference that not even I know. Okay, so Captain's Choice has been very, very generous with me over the years, and they've sent me tons of stuff, some things that have become my favorite, like this, which I need to buy some more of. And uh, today is no different. They sent me this eucalyptus to try out. I think they sent me the aftershave of it, but I couldn't find it right before I did this, so we're just going to do this today. But there's been something that when I look at their website, I kind of covet, even though I don't really use them, and that's a shaving bowl. I don't... You know that I like to shave, right? You know that I like to lather on my face. That's what I meant to say. You know that I like to face lather. I don't like to use a bowl because it's one more thing I have to worry about and clean up and yada, yada, yada. I like to use these as my shaving bowls. And while that may be a bit wasteful and messy, it's okay. It's okay. For me, it's okay. So Captain's Choice, I've always kind of um, coveted their shaving bowls because they look so cool. They're handmade, they're pottery, and they sent me one. They sent me something new, though. It's not just a normal shaving bowl. It's what they call a shaving locker. You'll recognize the Captain's Choice logo on there, the little compass rose. That's what that is. I think it's a compass rose and also, yeah, compass rose. I thought it might be uh, like a ship's, uh, what's the what's the steering wheel on a ship? <laughs> anyway, you know that big old thing. Anyway, so they sent me this soap locker. It's a handmade kind of a porcelain deal, not porcelain, sorry, like um, a ceramic deal, and it says Captain's Choice on the bottom, and it's got a little lid, and you put your soap inside, and then when you're done, you put the lid back on, and it keeps it fresh, it keeps the scent in there a little bit longer, probably. It's like sealing up, you know, your, your food after you, you know, it's like using one of these, right? But it looks so much nicer when it's sitting on your counter. Look at that. I've always liked the look of this. It reminds me of a 70s product, you know, back then when you'd eat like French onion soup out of something that looks like this. So I'm excited to try this out today and see those little three prongs in there. That is for when you have hard puck soap and you want to jam it in there and keep it in place. That's what those little things are for. And you know what they did? They actually sent me to try it out. Not only did they send me this, they sent me some Edwin Jagger hard puck soap, which I'm actually not going to use today. I'm going to use the eucalyptus. But I want to show you, it's still in this little plastic. This is... Aloe vera, traditional. Ooh, it smells good, but it smells a little cologne -y. But the point of this is to show you how it works. So you just, no, I'm not going to take the plastic off, but you would just jam it down in there. Ugh. And then it would stick <laughs> when you take the plastic off. And it'll keep it in there. Keep your soap fresh. Keep it good looking. What he rec what Scott recommended was just take some of his eucalyptus out, put it in here and lather up. That's what I'm going to do. All right, enough chit-chat. My goodness, I feel like I've just been going on and on and not shaving. So let's do some shaving. So I'm gonna take the eucalyptus, which is a semi-hard. It's not real hard and it's not soupy or weird. I'm gonna see if that's enough, okay? I'm gonna put it down in there, okay? Sound like a dang teacher on uh, South Park, okay? Put the soap down the bowl, okay? So we can put that much, that may not be enough. We'll see, and I'm gonna lather up in there. And I'm gonna use uh, Grandpa Grungy by 1960. Fat boy with a feather blade in it and lather up. Ooh, I can already smell the eucalyptus and the spearmint. I'm loving it already. I'm telling you, Scott and everybody over there at Captain's Choice, you guys might be my favorite product manufacturers. You know, started off loving Sterling, but I haven't used that much Sterling stuff. So Captain's Choice, I've used a lot thanks to your generosity. So I appreciate it. All right, let's lather up with my little Sinatra Lennon uh, Signature Series synthetic brush. 
and we'll see what we can get out of here. Yeah, you know, I like to face lather because I just don't want to mess with cleaning one more thing. But most people, I think, that shave like this prefer to use a bowl. And uh, I've always liked the looks of these. They have several different um, uh, sizes, I think. Uh, this is, the started off as a prototype, from what I understand, and this was the final. Uh, these things cost $30. They're three and a half inches wide, two inches deep. So that's how big of a puck you can get in there. And they tried out a couple different shapes, and this is what they came up with. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, it's got, it's got a mentholated smell to it, the eucalyptus, camphor, as they say on the website, like a lemon. I got a little bit of a citrus, a lot of camphor, and, and the spearmint. Oh, it's good stuff. All right, let's lather up, folks, with my soap locker. Look at that. I will clean it out and put the lid back on. And if you don't want to use it for soap, you could put candy corn in it for Halloween. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> hey, what do you want to do with your soap locker is my on me. Who am I to say? All right, so thanks again to Scott and everybody over there at Captain's Choice. I feel very fortunate to be able to try out all the stuff that you send me. I feel very fortunate just in general. All right, put this Edwin Jagger back. I always have to clean up as I go. That's my fastidious anal retentiveness. Oof. All right, F Grandpa Grungy, fat boy, got it lathered up. I didn't shave yesterday. So I got like a day and a half growth or something like that. Pretty stout for me. You know, I don't, I have to shave or else my skin gets all red and splotchy and irritated. And I know there are several people out there like that. And uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was talking, but I have a little cut on my bottom lip. I'll show you in a minute. And uh, I did not cut myself shaving. Um, I did not give myself a paper cut, like licking an envelope or anything like that, no. I cut, actually physically cut, bled uh, because I was eating nachos at the ballpark Saturday. So, <laughs> ballpark nachos. You know, if you're an American and you've been to the ballpark, I'm talking baseball, football, any, any stadium like that, they're going to have what I call ballpark nachos. And that is that sort of fake orange... Rico brand cheese sauce. You know what I'm talking about. Rico, R-I-C-O. Been around forever. So it's that kind of fake orange, you know, processed cheese food sauce poured over round, circular, I should say, tortilla chips. Not triangle ones, circular. It has to be circular. I don't know why, but it does. And then you got to put some pickled jalapenos out of a can or a jar on top of that, and you got yourself some ballpark nachos, folks. Are they the finest nachos around? No, 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 of course not. That's not what you want. You don't want fine dining while you're watching a baseball game. You just want to eat a glop of, <laughs> of nachos. Maybe this is just an American thing. Maybe this is just a, a, a guy who grew up in the 70s and 80s and uh, to whom trash food is his, uh, my birthright. I don't know. I don't know. Why do I like garbage food sometimes? Not all the time. I like some fancy stuff too. You put your pinky up when you were drinking, you know? Drinking a glass of wine at a fine restaurant. Yes, I like that too. I don't do a lot of that, but I enjoy it when I can. But I do eat a lot of, <laughs> well, from time to time, garbage foods. Now, I can't do it all the time or else I would pay the price. But anyway. <laughs> Let me wash off and lather up again. We'll talk about. Can you even see it anymore? It's a little bit of a, right there, just a little slit. Like a, looks like I cut my show, self shaving. But what actually happened was I was eating these ballpark nachos. I had a napkin. Somehow a little chunk of nacho was in the napkin when I went to wipe my mouth, and that little edge of the sharp chip just went. I was like, oh, it's like I'm bleeding. I think this nacho cut me. Look at this stuff. Look at that. It lathers beautifully. It smells great. It's slick. It feels good on the skin. It leaves residual slickness so you can really get a good close 
shave, your, your, your razor just glides over. That's, you know, you hear that a lot, right? Oh, the slickness, the slickness, the slickness. Yeah. It's just, it is, it is what it sounds like. It's nothing magical or fancy. It's just how smooth and slippery your skin is during the shave and like right afterwards. And uh, you can tell, and some aren't very much. This one is. All right, second pass across the grain. Mm, yeah, I'm loving the smell of this stuff. If you can get citrus and a little bit of mint in there, man, that's one of my things. You know how I was talking about, uh, you know, loving the scent and the taste of cherry things and, you know, black cherry this and that and whatever and, you know, the smell of mint stuff I love and... So this one's hitting several different notes of scent that I enjoy. So good job again. Still hoping to get like a mentholated cherry. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm trying not to re-slice my lip open <laughs> from the nacho. What would you consider, like, if you're in a different country, and I know all about American junk food, right? That's what we call it, we're junk food. I don't know if that's a universal term or not. But what is the junk food where you live in your country? If you don't live in the States, maybe you live in Canada, maybe you're in India, Australia. Tell me what your junk food is. Like, what's your guilty junk food pleasure? I'll give you one more. Now, I... Nachos are my weakness. All different kinds of nachos. I made some last night for dinner. <laughs> oh, man. But something else, like dessert-wise, that is one of my weaknesses are any of the cream-filled Little Debbie snack cake type things. Like oatmeal cream pies, especially. Oh! If you don't have oatmeal cream pies from Little Debbie in your part of the country or the world, oh, man. You were missing out on some good old sweet junk food, man. <laughs> it's like a soft oatmeal cookie sandwich. It's about that big. And it's got cream filling inside. Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. It's good. So I want to hear about what yours are. You know what? Uh, my kids and I, uh, and wife, of course, we get this little uh, snack box every month. It's a subscription. Somebody gave it to us as a gift. And what it is, is every month you get sent a box of snacks from a different country in the world. And it's fascinating, the different snacks. And we've been doing it for like a year and a half. So we've been all over the dang world, you know, everywhere. And man, there are some weird flavored snacks, like chip flavored. Like when I say chip, I mean like potato chips, like crisps, you know, um, like, you know, shrimp flavored. And I mean, just some really, really weird some work, some don't to my American palate. But I'll tell you what, we've got a grocery store here. Our main grocery chain is called HEB and is fantastic. They do great work in the community. If, you know, people need help, uh, you know, they donate tons of money and great store, good store in general, good grocery store. And they, I recently went in there to go shopping and they came out with a limited edition um, fall flavored potato chips. One of them is apple pie flavored potato chips, which didn't quite work, it was a little weird. And the other one was cornbread stuffing, like dressing, like turkey and dressing. Get out of here, you little gnat. Cornbread dressing flavored uh, potato chips. That one was kind of good because it was savory already, but the apple pie potato chips, I don't know. Couldn't get behind those, couldn't get behind those, but I'm glad they tried it. I love that kind of stuff. I'm a sucker for that kind of silliness and fun. Because I feel like, I feel like in the world, <laughs> there's a lot less fun going on. Like mirthful, just kind of good natured fun. Like silly fun things. So whenever I see something that I perceive to be something like that, I really appreciate it and I like it. It's like, yeah, why not? Let's just try it, let's have a good time. Is it solving any problems? No. It's not meant for that. It's just meant to, you know, distract you for a few moments and have a bit of fun in your life. I feel like McDonald's when I was a kid was like that. They constantly had the coolest silly commercials, which you can see still on YouTube. Go to 
I've been, uh, last year, I haven't done it yet, this year yet, but I like to go to YouTube and search for 80s Halloween commercials. Since we're in October now, happy October, everybody. Search up 80s Halloween commercials. And they used to have all these fun commercials, all these different, like, you know, you know, the different burger chains and McDonald's and different, you know, even like, I think Little Debbie Snack Cakes were advertising. It was all like, oh, you know, come in this week and get a free spooky glass with a ghost on it, you know? And I don't feel like there's enough of that anymore. Sure, they're coming out with Happy Meals for adults now. I know. I don't know how to feel about that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Does it come with a little shot of whiskey? That'd be good. Whiskey and a Big Mac. The Sinatra Lennon story. Whiskey and a Big Mac. No. <laughs> I do like Big Macs, but... I wouldn't define myself as Mr. Big Mac. So anyway, I enjoyed that. I hope you all get some uh, some little, you know, meaningless fun enjoyment every now and then out of life. You know, find some enjoyment in little simple things. Because that's really, I think, what keeps you going. I think. Because you can't always have, you know, you can't always be happy. But you can't always be sad either, I don't think. I hope not. I hope not. So find little places in life where you can find some joy, you know? Just simple. It could be just something that you enjoy. Nobody even has to, you know, agree with you <laughs> that it would, that it brings joy. Because if it does to you, that's what Ow, makes it work. <laughs> slice my mouth off. Can you slice your mouth off? Ooh, I don't want to think about it. All right. So there we go. Hey guys, I lathered up in a bowl. And you know what they, let me wash it out and I'll show you. Here's how they recommend that you hold it. And that was, that was a perfect amount. You see that small amount of soap that I used? That lathered up beautifully. I could have gone, I mean, there's still a ton left. I could still keep going and I just washed some out. So what they suggest you do to hold it, to get a good grip is put your thumb on the compass rose and then hold it like that. So yeah, it fits beautifully in the hand. It's not heavy. It is breakable, obviously. It's ceramics. It's handmade, so each one will look a little bit different. But it is gorgeous. Let me look at the inside of the bottom of the lid. That looks cool. Somebody had to get their finger in there and do that. A human being did this. So I'm appreciative of the craftsmanship. And uh, yeah, it's just cool looking. They call this gunmetal. This color is gunmetal. I think they only have this color right now for the soap locker. Like I said, it's 30 bucks. It's three and a half inches across this way. Two and a half inches deep, and uh, yeah, try it out. If you like the look of those things, and I always kind of did like the look of their their uh, their bowls, and I secretly wanted them to send me one, and it looks like they did. And with a lid even. Now that's cool. So thank you, Captain's Choice. I don't know if I'll use a shaving bowl a ton, but I love having it, so I appreciate it. All right, let me wash off here. And then, you know, like I said before, I, I think they sent me the eucalyptus aftershave. It seems very familiar. I could be wrong. I'll have to go back and look. <laughs> You'd think I know, right? I do not. So I'm not going to use a Captain's Choice aftershave. I'm going to use one of my favorites I haven't used in a long time. Bayonet butter. You've seen it. Check it out. Locks and Company out of Honesdale, Pennsylvania. Ah, oh, it just smells interesting. It smells interesting. What is it? Tea tree? Is that what it is? Yeah, tea tree scent. You don't need a lot of this either. I probably put too much on my finger just then. See that? Put it in the palm of your hand. For this one, you got to kind of warm it up a little to get it malleable, to get it going. But this stuff is so thick, it really stays on your skin. So if you're needing, like if you had like a, you know, you're, you feel like you're in need of some real skin moisturization after, uh, you know, maybe getting razor burn, that stuff is thick and it stays on. And it smells good. It's pleasant without being overpowering. That's it. Thanks again, Scott, and everybody over there at Captain's Choice. Y'all just knock it out of the park. And what I'm going to have to do next time is try out the Edwin Jagger, soften it up a little bit, jam it down in the bowl, and lather like that. And then put the top back on. It's all right? It's all right. Why do I always do that? I don't know. It's a sickness. It's a real sickness. Check out their eucalyptus. It's great stuff. I love it. Smells great. Oh, it's that spearmint. It's that little hint of spearmint that got me. All right, everybody, that's it. I got to clean up. Clean as you go as you shave and everything else. Whatever you're doing, painting, cooking, clean as you go. 
I don't know why I keep bringing that up, but I do. It's a sickness. It's a sickness. I gotta go. See ya. Bye.